What's going on? My name is Hans, and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you about Qmetry's Automation API. So our Automation API allows you to conveniently import your automation test results directly into your JIRA account. Results can be imported as soon as your automation test is finished executing, creating a new test run in JIRA with all associated test scenarios, test cases, and execution results. In this tutorial, I'll walk through an example of importing some automation test results into my JIRA account through the API. For a list of all supported file formats, automation frameworks, and coding languages, please visit our documentation website online. Uh, before we begin, please ensure that the account you're using has all of the necessary permissions. Without these, you'll be unable to import automation results into JIRA. But uh, once all that's been taken care of, head over to your JIRA dashboard, click on the Qmetry drop-down tab right here, then go ahead and click on Automation API. This will take you to the Getting Started page of the API. Here you have two choices. You can either use Qmetry's REST API or you can use Maven. Additionally, there are plugins available for Jenkins and Bamboo. But I'll begin with Qmetry's REST API since it's already selected right here. So the step-by-step procedure you need to follow is already laid out for you by the UI. After selecting a project in step one, I'll go ahead and select test. You can generate an API key in step two. I've got one generated right here. If I wanted to generate a new one, I could simply click on this refresh icon right there and it would generate a new API key for me. Now it's time for step three, which is importing our results. You'll see here that to get a URL that allows us to import our results files, we need to first send a POST request to this URL. We'll send a POST request to the URL providing a JSON with these required parameters, API key and format, as well as any others you want to use. Ones, of, ones that are noteworthy would be the test run parameter right here, as well, which allows us to name the test run that's being created. Or, we, or the test asset hierarchy key right here, which allows us to provide a level of hierarchy to the test run that we're creating. We can provide test scenario, test case, or test case, test step. So let's go on over to Postman and begin step three. So here you'll see that I've already provided the URL and I've set that we're making a post request. I've selected a raw payload and application JSON. Then I've provided an API key I want, the format of the results file I'll be, impl I'll be importing, which will be a cucumber, and I'll be sending a test run name, we'll just call it new test run. So if I can go ahead and click on send, we'll see that it was a successful URL fetch, and that this is the URL that was just fetched. All right, so now we're ready to move on to step four, which is importing our Cucumber JSON file to the URL that we just fetched. You'll see that I'm using a curl command after getting the URL from Postman. And once I hit enter with this command, it will upload my file. Now bear in mind that there are multiple other options besides using Postman and curl. You have plenty of other coding options, snippets for which are available on our documentation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click enter now. All right, so that means that, it's, that it began the upload process. So now what we do is we head back on over to the automation API page. We begin step five, which is following the process. We can click here to see the status of our uploaded files. You'll see that here I have in progress so one of uh, the upload that I just began. If I go ahead and click on it, let's see how it goes through three steps, which is validating the file, processing it, and then creating the test assets. Once it's finished, I, I, I mean, throughout the time we can click refresh, and then once it's finished, we can go ahead and click on history to see that it is completed. So I'll go ahead and let it load, and once it's done, I'll get back to you. Through the power of editing, I'll see you in a sec. All right, so after the power of editing, we see here in the history pane that this upload was successful. You can uh, 
ignore all the failures down there. This is from a different day. I'm going to tinker around with some code. But uh, here it has completed. And we have a URL to our Jira account within which we'll be able to see the new test run that we uploaded. So let's go ahead and click on that. Give it a sec to load. All right, so here we have it. Here we've got our new test run that we just uploaded into Jira. You scroll down, we'll see the issues in the test run that were imported directly from the file. And we have our automation summary. Go ahead and download that. Open it up. Voila, we've got three test scenarios created and nine new test cases created as a result of importing this results file into our JIRA account. Thus, I hope you've come to see how useful and convenient the Automation API is. Uh, by incorporating a few lines of code into your automated tests, as you saw before, you can leverage the power of Qmetry test management even more efficiently than you could by just manually inputting your tests. So uh, I hope you found this tutorial insightful, and happy testing.